everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner and today I have all bundles and grab bags for you. I've got a lot of stuff up off on the shelf so uh, I'm hoping this video doesn't take very long. These first um, three are bundles of trims. Uh, sometimes I have some that come off the, the train in pieces, shorter pieces. I have some left over from previous sales. I didn't sell all of it. Uh, so I put those together in bundles. They are shorter pieces, usually um, a yard, half a yard up to a yard and a half. <clears throat> so let me get started with the first bundle, which is Lot Q. Uh, this one has four pieces in it. This one has no beads. There's only a few sequins on one of the, the pieces. But let me whoop, come down so you can... This first piece is about a yard and it has different sections of this like woven ribbon on it. It's on a, a mesh background. So there's about a yard of this. Um, a probably almost a yard, maybe three quarters of a yard of this Venice lace trim with no beads and sequins, but you can cut this up and use it into pieces. Uh, the fourth piece is, this one looks to be almost a yard as well, of this Alençon trim. No beads and sequins, but this one you can cut up as well. That's white. That very first one, this one is like a cream. You can see the, the difference between the white and a dark, dark cream. And then this last piece is kind of unusual. It's about three quarters of a yard, maybe, of this also trim with kind of ribbon ribbon work on it and very small uh, silver sequins. And this is what that looks like. The sequins are very shiny. So there are three of these um, flower pieces on it. And this part you can you can cut up into a into a trim. So this is lot Q, four piece bundle, and I am asking eight dollars for this one. And I have three just like this, so I have three available of Q. Lot R is a bigger bigger bundle. This one has eight pieces in it. Um, I only have two available, two um, bundles available of R. Um, this is how much you get in it, a whole lot. Um, some of these uh, some of these don't have sequins, but most of them do. This is a piece of Alençon trim that can be cut up into different um, appliques. There's a pretty good length of that one. I think this one is at least a yard, maybe a little bit more. <clears throat> There's a piece of this that came off of that same dress that had the, that last piece in the first bundle. There's a piece of trim on that one with just the sequins, the silver sequins. In this one there's also a piece of Venice lace trim. This one's, I'd say, at least a yard. Very pretty. I love Venice lace. There's a piece of Alençon. This one I'm sure is at least a yard. Probably um, a yard and a quarter maybe. This one is a cream with um, clear sequins. Very pretty. You get a whole bunch of that. You get that much. This one is a small piece maybe a half a yard. It has iridescent sequins on this one. And pearl beads, some rice rice beads on this one too. It's a small section of that. Uh, this one's about a yard of this one. This is embroidered. Well, yeah, it looks like a combination of embroidered and a la song. And this one has iridescent sequins on this one. I think this one is a, a yard that much. 
a shorter piece, maybe a half a yard or two thirds of a yard of this wider lace. It's white with clear sequins, pearl beads. So much of that one. And then the last piece is another uh, wide Alençon um, corded. This one's very pretty. It's on a very sheer net background. Um, this one's, I'd say this one's about a yard. So this is Lot R, a eight piece bundle, and I am asking $16 for this one. Get a lot there. And um, that one, did I say I only have two of that one? And Lot S is the third trim bundle. It has seven pieces in it. And that's how much you get in this one. There's a piece of uh, kind of a shorter, it's probably two thirds of a yard of this one that has these silver threads running through the cording. the camera's picking that up but there's silver threads um, and pearl beads on that one this one is a very sheer embroidered with the beads and sequins in the center of the, the flowers on this one that's probably three quarters of a yard of this one I'd say um, this one I did measure it's one yard plus it is a cutwork trim that you can cut into individual pieces. Pretty flowers. There's a yard of that one. There's a smaller piece of this cream with pearl pearl beads. No sequins on, on this one. Nope. A little scallop pattern. The smaller piece of that. Uh, this one I did measure too. It's one yard of this Venice lace trim. Very pretty. With clear sequins, pearl beads, pretty scallop pattern. It's a yard of that. A small piece of this embroidered. You can cut this up into individual um, appliques. It's on a sheer net background. It's maybe not even a half a yard, maybe. And then one piece, one smaller piece of this um, beaded, it's a beaded lace with some trim at the bottom of it. That's just a smaller piece of that. So that is lot S. I only have one of this one, seven piece set. And I am asking $9 for this one. That is lot S. Okay, moving, oopsie daisy. Moving on to applique grab bags. I am going to, and this is, uh, the applique grab bags are lot T. I'm going to show you all the different ones that could be in the grab bag. Um, these are all the ones I have up on the shelf um, and then I'll show you what a couple of them the quantity. It's by weight. <clears throat> My grab bags are by weight. First up each one will have one of these um, embroidered uh, appliques. These came off of a curtain and that's what this looks like. It has kind of a embroidered, almost a Venice lace around the edge of it, and the center of these beautiful embroidered roses on a very sheer background. And then you've got the this at the bottom. So each of the applique grab bags will have one of this in it, and then a variety. Um, I have all different ones on the shelf. I have 
embroidered, I have all saw, I have some Venice lace, I have some cut work, I have all different ones um, up on the shelf right now. So I'm just going to go through these really quickly to show you the different ones that could be in the grab bag. You won't get all of these, but you'll get a nice variety of them. That one's really pretty. And that one. I have several different sizes of this on the um, sheer background. There's this one. A little bit more. I have two different sizes of the cut work. This is one of them. This is the other. Um, most have beads and sequins on them. There's a few that do not. This is one of them. You probably only get one of the ones that don't have beads on it. This is a Venice lace one. Here's a different one. This one heavily beaded. There's this one with the rose and the leaf. Here's, um, uh, I think this is the only one that had some beads on it. I have a, a lot of these that have no beads on it that could be in the um, grab bag as well. It's very pretty. I have several different sizes of these Venice lace ones with the beads and sequins. I have this swirl that has just the silver, well actually those are clear, clear tiny sequins on them. Pretty. Have this cream. I have a few cream. Here's one of the creams, and here's another one of the cream ones with uh, iridescent. Those both have iridescent sequins on them. I have pink of this one. If you don't tell me you you don't want pink, you'll probably get a pink, at least one in your grab bag. So if you don't want pink, just let me know when you order one that I don't want any pink. Or if you want a lot of pink, let me know and I'll put more than one in. I know not everybody likes pink. There's this one here. It has um, these bugle bead swirls on them. And pearls. Here's another that has no beads and sequins, but it is a Venice lace. I've had these previously. I had some left over. So you might get one of those in your grab bag. Um, here's another Venice lace one that has some um, beads and sequins on it. There's this one here that I have in different configurations. And then I have some of this one uh, in two different sizes. This is a smaller, there's also a larger one. It has some crystals. This has a few crystals on it, like right there at the top, and these silver silver tiny sequins on it. Very shiny. So those are the different ones that could be in the grab bag. And I'm going to show you what a couple of um, grab bags. There's roughly 12 appliques in each um, grab bag counting the the one with the embroidered uh, the embroidery on it. But this is what a typical grab bag would look like. I'm just going to flip through it. A variety of all the different styles that I have up on the shelf right now. There's there's one that's to show you how much you get in it. And here's another one just to show you. You've got the embroidered, the one with the embroidered roses and all the different different styles. There's the pink let me know if you don't want pink, and I won't include any pink. I'll substitute the pink for something else. Um, so those are the applique grab bags. Lot T. I have 20 put together. Um, the first 23 orders will get one of those, in the, the embroidered um, one of these in it. I only have 23 of these, so anything Anything, any orders past 23 will we'll just get a variety of um, appliques. You won't get that one. Um, 
want you, I have a few doily grab bags and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to show you uh, what could be in a doily grab bag. <clears throat> They're graduating sizes from about five, I think this is the biggest one. Yeah, about five inches down to about two and a half inches, two, two and a half inches. Each doily grab bag will have one of this one. It's a mm, eight inch doily. It's a linen doily with embroidered cutwork rows in the center and crochet around the edge. So each grab bag will have one of these. Actually, the first 16 will have one of these. I only have 16 of this left. Anything beyond that will just have um, a variety of doilies. My doily grab bags always have 30 doilies in them. Uh, graduating sizes, um, all the way the sizes I just said. Uh, these are the different ones that could be in the doily grab bag. So you've got that one. You've got this one, you've got this one, you've got this one, an ecru. Here's another ecru with the dimensional flower. Got this one, snowflake. This one, this one. This very vintage one. Got this one. This cream one. These two different sizes and colors of the same style. And then I have just a few pink ones. So if you don't want pink, same thing as with the um, applique grab bags, let me know and I won't include any pink in your grab bag. But I have this one light pink. I have a, a, just a few of this one and a few of this one. It's not really picking up the pink. But these two are very pale pink and this one's a little bit darker. So those are all the doilies that could be in a grab bag. And oops, this is an example of what one 30 doily grab bag would look like. Graduating sizes from, from larger to smaller. And there's 30 doilies in here, including that one of the um, linen one. So that's what you will get. These doily grab bags are $10 each. I don't think I told you the price for the um, applique grab bags. Um, those are... $12 a piece. I can't remember if I said that or not. So those are the doily grab bags. I also have some lace grab bags available. Um, these are already put together. They are in a quart size baggie and you get a whole lot. Um, I'm just going to come up a little bit. This is how much you get. They are $8 a piece. They are mostly neutral, but there will be a couple of colored ones in here. You can see that. You get a lot for $8 in here. Many yards. Um, and the pieces are... Uh, Almost all of them are at least a yard. Some are a yard and a half. Some are two yards, depending on how much I had and, and um, the, the size of them. I'll just take mm, a couple apart so you can see the quantity that you get in them. Um, and the different types. There's, there's flat, there's ruffled, there's um, scalloped. There's a few vintage ones in here. It shows up better when it's not. There's a ruffled one. Here's another cream ruffled one. There's a scallop cream. Here's a 
This one is stretchy. It's white. Got a lot of that one. Now, all the grab bags are different. Um, I didn't measure anything. I just made sure there was at least a, a yard. That one's really pretty. I think this one is vintage. Here's a kind of a peachy colored one. Here's a, like a mint green ruffled. This was an, an insertion, like linen. This one is more more like a, oh, you can see the floral pattern on that one. Quite a bit of that. Yeah, this one here. A wide, some of them have a wide in there. This one's really pretty, kind of a flesh, flesh colored. And a light cording on it. Still going in this one. There's a crocheted one. Quite a bit of that. Here's one with ribbon running through it. Here's a tiny pink one. Here's another flat lace. It's got on both sides. And another uh, kind of insertion where you can put ribbon through it. So that is one of the grab bags. That's kind of the, typically what you will see in um, a grab bag. And well, let me just do let me just do one more. I don't want to get these mixed up. Put, move that off to the side. All right, here's a second grab bag. This one has a triple layer white lace in it. Quite a bit of that. This one also has the um, crocheted lace in it. This has a big piece of this almost Venice lace. white Venice lace trim. A lot of that. This little dainty scalloped one. This cream with the points on it. This one I believe is, is vintage. I had quite a bit of this one. Look at that. I don't know what kind of lace this is. Maybe a, a chemical lace? I'm not sure. Get a good length of that. It's pretty blue, white with blue at the edge, scallop lace. Here's another ruffled lace. Yet another crochet type lace that you can run ribbon through. And then a wide one that's this really pretty, um, like a plum. It's looking blue in the it's looking blue in the picture, but it's like a light plum, gray, grayish purple. Very pretty. This one also has the light cording on it. I think this one is vintage. So that is an example of another um, lace grab bag. Um, the grab bags are $8 a piece. And I have 19 put together, but I can put together many more. I have lots of lace available right now. So, that's all I have for day today. That's all. Yeah, that's a lot. I'll be putting together orders for the rest of the day today, I think. If you are interested in any of these lots that you've seen today, the grab bags and bundles, as always, the instructions on how to order are in the description box below. Um, if anything sells out, the, the trim bun bundles I'm sure are going to sell out. So, as those sell out, I'll mark them as sold down below. And I do ship international. And that's all I have for today. Bye for now.